And what's up, movie fans, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, for the evening. And, of course, I just got finished watching Ghost Rider episode, Season 4, Episode 4, Uprising. I know last week I missed talking about Episode 3, but things happened where it got it. I got it by hand, so sorry about that. So, in this episode, basically, I've got like, a bunch of people... Who are angry at the world of, you know, allowing the Inhumans to have rights and, you know, the government protecting them. So people decide, you know what, let's just become terrorists and turn off all the lights. Because basically they want to black out every city so they can go in undetected and, you know, take out some Inhumans. And of course you have Daisy still trying to convince herself of this whole Ghost Rider situation because yet she's still does not understand this whole thing with Ghost Rider. Is he inhuman or he's something totally else? But yeah, of course you should know by now the Ghost Rider is not an inhuman. He's basically got his power from the devil. And yeah. That that's basically it. There's nothing else I can say about that. And then you have that du uh, Daisy handling that situation in this episode. And then of course you have Colson trying to figure out what's going on with this whole um, blackout situation, you know, trying to help out some, you know, inhumans who might need help, and, you know, all the cities going blackout. And then, of course, you have Agent May, who's still under the influence of a ghost that went through her, messing up her mind, and you have, you know, Gemma trying to help her out, by trying to cure her, and it was a good episode. I, really, I like this episode a lot. It was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, we didn't get to see no ghost, ghost rider action, but whatever. But obviously, we got to see him in his normal form. But you know, it does show in the episode where he's fighting a couple of thugs because it's his little brother, or nephew, I can't really tell who he is. But you know, Ghost Rider, he you know shows his humans super strength because obviously he has got the Ghost Rider power inside of him. But yeah, he can still fight without the power on, so that's cool. And you have Daisy who is injured, obviously, and the blackout happens and chaos just happens. And, like I said, pretty cool episode. There are a lot of questions about this episode, though, because it does start to really show us that it does tie into, actually, the Marvel Universe. Because with this whole Registration Act, you know, what, this, what happened in Civil War, does affect, obviously, S.H.I.E.L.D. Now you got the whole protecting humans and keeping them in... In line, making sure, you know, they keep the good ones in check and keep the bad guys really close to them so they can keep an eye on them. But, of course, there are a lot of people out there who really don't like that, so this whole situation happened. And, like I said, it was a fun episode. Not that much action, but it's going to get better as time goes on. What I liked about this episode was I really liked the, the whole... Daisy trying to figure out, you know, if Ghost Rider is really what he says he is or really not who he is. Maybe she's still trying to figure out he's inhuman, which just, to me is just funny because honestly, he's not. Everything you watch it just makes me laugh. But yeah. Um, another moment in the episode that I really thought was cool was the ending. Obviously, whoever whoever's in charge of this whole new group of people, I forgot the name of the, the, the team. But whoever's in charge of them means business to try to take out them. I mean, like, literally wipe out all the Inhumans. Either they, what's left of Hydra, maybe they're a new team, who knows. But it sounds interesting. I hope it keeps growing. And I really dig in it. And I really like how in this episode you see Coulson and his whole team, they all know about Ghost Rider, but yet he doesn't know... He hasn't seen him. He doesn't know if he, if they, he believes it or not. And it's really funny. And next week's episode just showed a preview where him chasing Ghost Rider. So that's going to be pretty funny to see Coulson's reaction to what he sees Ghost Rider in his full form. So that should be cool. But yeah, like I said, this episode was okay. It wasn't, like I said, it doesn't really help with the story about, you know, Ghost Rider's situation. And what's his real p part in this show. But I still dug it. And also, I like the, the moments where, you know, obviously the guy who plays Ghost Rider, he talks about how he's trying to get rid of the curse, if you will, because he thinks he got it, is, he got it because it's a curse and he has to clean, 
like all the evil like in on the streets of Los Angeles, but let's see what happens. Obviously, it's not that easy to get rid of the Ghost Rider power, but let's see what happens. I hope he sticks around too because I really like the actor who plays him. I think he's doing a great job as Ghost Rider. I think Ghost Rider is a great addition to the show. You can make him badass. He, he, you can make him do violent things without actually showing guts and eyeballs coming out. It, it, it works. You know, the budget looks fine with it, so leave it alone. Hopefully it continues. Maybe he'll get his own show. But yeah, if I, if I have to grade this episode, mm, I'll give it a 6%. I really like this episode. It was fine for what it was. Like I said, it was not that much action. But you know what? It's going to continue on. And, you know, the story's going to continue on. I really like what this stuff was Ghost with Ghost Rider and Daisy. I like that stuff a lot. But, like I said, it could improve for certain things. But let's see what happens, you know. We got a new threat coming on. We don't know who the main bad guy is yet. Could be Ghost Rider. Could be totally somebody else. But who knows. So, there you go. So, there's my review. Stay tuned for the next one. I will be doing Supergirl tomorrow. And I will be doing Gotham. And of course, Arrow as well, right after Arrow. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So thank you very much and have a good night.